just as good as the Philippines uh, had it in game one. But nonetheless, here we go. It's do or die for Myanmar. They have the mm. chance here to make Team Philippines falter and make our group be a little more interesting. It's time for game two in this series of two. Philippines versus Myanmar. And do you know what, Leo? Speaking of game two, it's time for round two for Plaptizi. Look at him oh, once again. again. This he's is the sequel. Yeah, this is the sequel. The orange buff yep, right now is, in the top lane. This is Plaptizi stealing your buff part two, electric boogaloo. And I wonder if he got it because Sam, Sam, Sam take, uh, giving him quite the visit. Now DK looking low, can Lusty get him up? Oh, oh okay. wow, Plaptizi did not steal it. He doesn't have it on him. Yeah. Sam, 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 he protected the the buff. But look at how, like, smart Team Philippines is. After the failed attempt of Plaptizi, he immediately cleared the top lane. And Sam, 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 he was forced to react in the top lane. So with this, I think Team Yanmar, they're now starting up good. But oh. as I say this, Team Philippines quickly with the first blood in the mid lane, surprising the support of Team Myanmar. There you go, first blood going over Team Philippines. They're up about 100 gold. Now this is Myanmar threatening Carl Tizi and his buff. Carl Tizi able to retribution it out though. And Russia, the way to go now? That's the question, but speaking of the way to go, Royal, Mi Ro Royal Milk actually yeah. taking down Rebo, going, uh, going in, and that is a freebie coming in from Team Myanmar. Nice, um, nice kill there for uh, Royal Milk to at least even up the odds in the early stages. Yep, now Few might be next. He's looking low. Flicker out. Yellow Flash does not want any of this. Carl Tizi, ooh, look at that. Jumping in. Like <laughs> acrobatics in the bottom lane from uh, well two of the cores. Uh, of Team Myanmar and Team Philippines, but ooh, look at the damage. Forced to teleport back to the yeah. base. So Recall. with that, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, Team Myanmar, they took advantage. Hey, Carl Tizi, he's, he's low, he's now in the base, and after the kill, instant disengage. Nobody even bothered to, like, overextend for Team Myanmar. So this is good discipline coming out from this team. Speaking of discipline, Flap <laughs> Tizi, that was... Kind of greedy coming in from Flap, but meanwhile we're gonna have a fight here in the purple side of Team Philippines. The rotation will oh, oh the vacuum, the pull from the rotation. Nice pick up there for Team Myanmar and Yellow Flash responding to the steal. Did he got it? Yes, yes he did. Ow! And he just walks away like nothing happened. And called easy here, only with his orange. Not much he can do here. Royal Milk wants some, does not let him have it. Hiccup here with the rotation. Gonna be pulling back in. Oh, Flap Easy gets revenge onto Royal Milk. And here's the portal by Hiccup and to no avail. It's fine. That's still one for one. Uh, I guess I'll take it. Yeah, man. I am. Um, <laughs> Yellow Flash. An eye for an eye, my friend. You steal our buff, I will steal yours too. Delaying Carl Tizi. And with this, this is a scary Ayabusa right now. He even has the retribution. He did, he did not use it. Yeah, he, he just, just used the shurikens. For, just basics, yeah, yeah just the basic yeah. attack and the shuriken. And there you go. So you take my uh, purple, I'll take the turtle, right? It rhymes. All right, all right, all right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's see here. It's an even ball game, ladies and gentlemen. At the four minutes of the game, Team Myanmar, they're trying their best to pick off Philippines one by one. Just like this, the shadow kill and the lockdown onto the bouncing ball of the Kufra. Team Myanmar now ahead with two kills, but Flap TZ working hard. The boy is working hard. Just pushing out towers. Hmm. All right. It looks like uh, the bottom lane has been worked down well by Plaptizi. Uh, he does not like the matchup against Sam Sam Sham. Like, you're, you're right, Manjin. That was such a disadvantage for the Masha. So he switches down bottom and starts working on that turret. And I guess that's Damn. the most that uh, Team Philippines has got. And they're down 2,000, man. And look at this, Sham Sham Sham, able to just cut the waves. He doesn't care. Yeah, hey, man, Team, Team Myanmar now uh, playing it smart. And what I like about them is they don't overextend. Uh, what's interesting here, because 
it's the team Philippines who are trying to get kills. But meanwhile, as I say this, that is of course the ultimate coming in from Kaltiti. Sham 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 pops the Cotent Inferno and he will survive. No casualties whatsoever. But look, Leo, yellow flash. Or oh, okay, I was mistaken. Carl Tizi securing the purple. There you go. So it's still 50 50. Still 50 50, and it looks like Royal Milk here is in trouble. Carlteasy has eyes on him. Smart Missile is not going to be able to save you here, friend. Lusty with the jump in. Carlteasy gets the kill. And yeah, I think uh, Royal Milk will just off position here. Not oh, a my. good look. And Rebo able to use the Order of Billions to get away, but just barely. But this turret Channel is going to have to go. Soon. So far, man, Team Myanmar, two, zero, uh, two turrets to none for against Team Philippines. And Lusty yeah. is just here with the defense of his life. This is what you get with the P and K on DK. They just call him DNK, you know. DK. Yeah, because what's happening is Team Philippines is trying to enter, but Koopa is just so irritating for their lineup, stunning them and negating them for getting kills. From getting kills, I mean. So with this, Team Myanmar, they're now controlling the mid side of the map because we, we I, like, for, for like five minutes, Team Philippines have been trying to get kills, but man, Team Myanmar is out sustaining them with this PNK. Yeah, for sure. The extra body on the map is such a nuisance, the Team Philippines, that uh, even Carthese there had, a, had some trouble trying to steal the uh, turtle despite using his ult already and having a retribution on deck. I'm, I'm guessing what happened there was he was bit down by Koopa. And again, yep. that's how well that uh, wolf slash dog comes into play. But again, <laughs> at least while that was happening, some uh, silver lining here to Team Philippines' uh, early game is that yeah. Flapteasy was able to push at least until the second tier, tier turn. And they're now leaning towards the Masha, uh, Masha play style here. Mm, the split push. The split push. The split push ML. There you have it. Another initiation from Sham Sham Sham. The rotation won't connect, but the Koopa... The, the dog, man, it's it's acting as a meat shield here for uh, Team Myanmar. If Team Philippines, they can't they they can't initiate with something. Yep, they're having it. They're finding it hard to break the line. And man, yeah. the, the the first priority here for DK to pick up the all mask first. That just makes Team Philippines' job so much harder. Whoever yep. tries to go in will get stunned. Whoever DK chooses to stun will surely get stunned, right? It's, it's yep. that simple. Yep. Even though they don't get kills, like, right? Because the main plan is just to stop the aggression for Team Philippines. Defense is the best offense. Meanwhile, Lusty oh, trying to escape, but the rotation pool will be there as Team Myanmar will now get another kill. You know what? It seems like Team Philippines, they were, they're trying to make plays after place after place. But Team Myanmar, they're just so defensive in, they're defensive enough that they can actually outkill someone. Just, again, look at that. This is part five. Yeah, yeah. And again, this whole one for one line of play is not going to get Team Philippines out of this rut. They are down on their back foot, but I guess it was all just smoke and mirrors, a distraction, so that Carl TZ could find some breathing space and take that turtle down bottom. But ugh, I think they're going to lose out on this turret right here. Unless Carl TZ has something to say about it. There you go. Does he pop the Tempest? Yes, he does. On to a Sham Sham Sham. Lusty goes down first, but Yellow Flash taken out by Rebo. Sham 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 might be next here. He jumps away. Cutter and Inferno in tow. Down goes Carl TZ. Oh, man. Down goes Rebo as well. It's a three for one in favor of Team Myanmar. This is pandemonium. Pandemonium. Pandemonium and DK is a okay for Team Myanmar. They're now chasing Masha, but the dog is now out. <laughs> DNK using DK using the PNK so well, and it's giving Team Myanmar the opportunity to take this game away for Team Philippines. What is the answer for Team PH, man? This is just too much. No, I think uh, the key here is, I don't know, I, I don't think you should fight fire with fire. You should not try to fight DK where he says he wants to fight, man, because he's just going to let the dog out. Who, 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 you know what I mean? Like, it's just so hard yeah. to face such 
uh, there's terrible odds because the dog is getting tougher by the minute. There's going to be yep. more CC and Hiccup is there to just bring the, the, the retaliation if they so pick a fight. And now order billions here by Rebo just to get away. And look at this DK. He's found his next target. Lusty. Arr. There you go. The, the dog is hungry, bro. Uh, <laughs> Koopa is hungry. Oh my, Team Philippines are trying to make a play another here, but here comes another ejector in the range. The time is was good, but the rotation vacuum was better. Team Myanmar, ladies and gentlemen, they're chasing down Team Philippines and they're creating havoc. The dog is just too much. Yeah. The werewolf in the night. Oh no. Oh man, call Edward Cullen. This werewolf needs taken care of. Yellow Flash, did you see the basics? Did you see how he was hitting that shadow kill? He was literally taking people's half uh, life bars. Every single hit. Now look at the items. Blade of Despair. He's uh -huh. building up to the endless battle. And he's got a, a Raptor Machete, which I believe is just maxed out on stacks. It's just gotta be, given how much damage he was dealing. Yep. Stick to the basics, says Yellow Flash. Basic no jutsu in the ninja way. So 6 to 14. You know what, Leo? I think Team Myanmar, they did well in answering oh. the link pick. Because right they, now... They yeah. got down Lusty. There you go. Because right now, I'm not really seeing any uh, solutions here for Carl Tizi to pick up one. Because you cannot kill anyone right now, one-on-one, -on -one, if you are Carl, Carl Tizi. So wow, Team Myanmar. This is this is actually a good lineup. Uh, we were mistaken. I was mistaken. Me too, to be honest. Yeah. Me too. But again, these two teams. Oh, I gotta say, Young and Galactico showing us that it's not just the draft, my friend. It's not yep. just the draft. So it's these two the teams, they, they deserve just as much as anybody to be in the playoffs. And this game right here is evidence of just that. Now. Yellow Flash, he seems to have unlocked the Jutsu. Whoever he talked to, man, the comeback Jutsu is real. And he's showing yep. us here, taking this Lord as early as 12 minutes. This has got to be it. Uh, it's so hard for the comeback to, to, to happen. Team Philippines, that is. But if ever it's going to happen, I think it's going to come from Flapizi. It's got to be the split push. It's going to be. Because, a uh, uh, man, um, Team, team Myanmar, because what are the options here for Carl Tizi, right? You, you have a retribution, so that means you don't have a purify. So there's no like answer here for Carl to easy to prevent getting stunned. Because you have the rotation, you have an ejector, the Koopa can stun you, the the side can sometimes pull you. So man, Team Myanmar, they, they channel their inner chakra here yep, and yep. just summon something and wow. And now they summon the Lord, and the Lord is now marching towards, towards the, the mid. There you go, there's the ultimate coming in from Carl Tizi. Is this an outplay though? He actually killed the, the Hayabusa, but the Lord is going in in the mid tower. That is killing spree for DK again. He is letting the dog out, and the dog is barking. The dog is hungry. Few trying his best with the flamethrowers, but where's the damage? Nothing coming out from those flamethrowers, man. Team Myanmar. Uh, <laughs> Team Philippines are trying their best. I'll take that as a win for Team Philippines. They were able to yeah. shut down Yellow Flash because if it was anyone else but Yellow Flash that they took down, it, it would have been just disastrous. Now, Hiccup destroying Flap TZ. And there's the Tempest of Blades by Carl TZ. Oh, Hiccup Ooh. shut down here. And Rebo might bite it. Royal Milk with his double force taking down the Lonox. And Royal Milk here once more. Can he get it? Not as a target, Few is. There's the ejector onto Lusty. Oh, last insanity here by Few hitting two people exploding in their faces as DK just gets the basics in, man. Again, we're forgetting the fact that DK on that PNK is doing so much work. Ejector onto another. Lusty goes down. DK goes 4 0 and 13. Lucky number. Oh, my. DNK on the PNK made my day. Team Myanmar. Ladies and gentlemen, just punishing this um, pseudo greedy split push lineup of There's Team another. Philippines. There's another Manjin. They have penetrated mid and they're not done. This team oh fight has my. extended. 
so long, man. They've been here for what seems like five minutes now, and bottom is gonna get it as well. Yellow Flash is back, by the way. That's how long the team fight lasted, because Yellow yep. Flash is back. <laughs> it's the whole dead timer. It's the whole dead timer of uh, of Yellow Flash. 21 to 8, man. Team Myanmar retaliating in this series. And they're not giving Team Philippines any chance of oh, a comeback potential. Not easy. Yeah, not out. easy. Oh. Yeah, the, again. Yeah, they're, they're, they're doing their best here. And it, yeah. it really just shows that Team Philippines. They're, they're 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 holding on. They're desperate, yeah. and again, they'll yeah. send the flap yeah. easy wherever he can find what could help them win. And it just wasn't there. He yeah. fell uh, down two for one. Score on flap easy here, and they've taken what several towers on the map. No, no, no shame in that. But again, they they only have one turret left, Manjin, and it looks like yeah. they want to go for it here. Team Myanmar, they're gonna go for their final siege. This is this is their ultimate defense here for Team Philippines. But look how tanky that dog is, Leo. He has the the dominance eyes, the be the the thunder belt as well. So man, no one from Team Philippines can really like kill DK here. Zero deaths right now. Even Sam Sham Sham. So wow, well, yes, is this the final siege, Leo? There you go. There's the ejector onto few, few just uh, oh. being the fate here for Team Philippines. But no, he will actually fall down. He will pop the immortality as Team Myanmar. They're now setting up for the top lane, and the Lord is free for the taking, Leo. Mm -hmm. Here's what's interesting. I think uh, after this little fight here, Cartesi with the Tempest of Blade trying to get out of here. Oh, he almost went down. Have this tower takers. Well, probably except for the Hayabusa, but as I say this, never mind that, because Team Myanmar, they're now inside the base in the tower, and the top lane is now gone. Oh. Team Myanmar! Uh, they will now tie this series one to one. It's gonna be okay for PNK.